One of the most common questions is, do you stay or do you swim? You know, your boat is capsized in the middle of the lake, the water is cold, and there's little chance of rescue. Should you stay with the boat no matter what? That's the standard thing that we are taught, right? Always, always stay with the boat. Well, there's been a lot of research done in the last 10 years about this, and actually there are some scenarios where you might actually swim for help. The first question is, can you make it? That's the question you ask, and you have to answer, what are the consequences? If you're wearing a PFD, and you try to swim and you can't make it, the price is, well, you failed, but you're floating, you still have a PFD. If you don't have a PFD, and you start to swim, and you can't make it, the price is you're going to drown and die. So there have been some studies on exercising in cold water. And we know that that causes an increased blood flow to the muscles. We've talked about that before. It increases heat loss from the skin. And you have increased convective heat loss because you're moving through the water. And that results in a decrease in the arm muscle temperature. And this causes difficulty in coordinating the breathing and the swimming. And this is what actually causes exhaustion and fatigue and the inability to swim. It's not because you've run out of energy. You've got lots of calories stored in your body, but it's because your muscles are cold and your nerves are cold and they won't work. The other thing is your judgment becomes impaired the longer you're in the water because your brain is made of neurons and as they get cold, they don't work so well. So studies have shown that uh, in 50 to 57 degree water, with a PFD, people have been able to actually swim quite a distance. Novices have been able to swim about 800 meters, and expert swimmers have been able to swim up to 1,500 meters. And the average swim time was 45 minutes. Now this was told they become fatigued, but remember, they're wearing a PFD. So the evidence suggests that swimming might be a viable alternative.